Hey guys and welcome back to another one and here we are with the Sonoff Dual. Today we have been implementing, well I have been implementing a few Sonoffs here at home to make things easier. Actually if you take a look at the camera you will see that I've got a few devices right over here. The pool lights, the water heater, the pool pump, kids bedroom and so on and so forth. And today I want to share with you a basic video regarding the Sonoff Dual working with uh, these physical switches right over here. So that in a future video where I'm going to implement these in two projects that I've got here at home, one on the outside, which I will be using these two exact uh, physical switches, and then also on my future setup downstairs, where I'll be dividing my current electricity installation for the lightnings. I will be using the Sonoff to distribute because I will be needing a lot more, and this way of things will allow me to do more with less wire. Now that being said, let's move on to try to explain for those of you that never touched one of these things and even for those that already worked but never implemented uh, physical buttons. Very easy as you will have the chance to see but usually with Sonoff we have everything on the app like we do right over here but I also want the chance or the opportunity to use physical buttons when I get in the office. I just want to press a button. I don't want to reach my phone to uh, to grab the app, switch on the lights and so on and so forth. And even if I'm not at home, if someone, if my wife or my kids want to go there, there is a physical switch. So that's the whole idea. Now, as you can see right over here, in terms of the connection, it's basically like the other Sonoffs that we have used. There is a line in, uh, which is this one right over here. And then there, there are two line out, one right over here and the other one right over here, which each one of them will go to one and to the other lamp. And that's about it in terms of the electricity. Now what makes this physical push buttons work are actually these wires that you see right over here which are not electrified. Uh, they will just push up the signal to open and close the uh, circuit. What I'm using right over here is these cables because it's just easier and when the time comes where I need to solder to the board which I will try to show a quick image right over there uh, it makes things a lot easier it's very cheap and they come in packages like this and if you are that kind of guy like myself that is always in this kind of project then these will be very useful I will try not forget to leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out but basically these wires will be only to do this. One more thing that I would like to explain right over here is that this switch here, as you can see, has a light. This one has not, but this will depend on the model of the switch that you have. In this particular case, this one is uh, being fed with 220 volts right over here, which will give it the light. And this one has the same option. I've got the wires right over here, but I've just chosen not to use. This is just to show that it's optional. I can use the light if this is to be used, for example, at nighttime outside, it will be very useful, which will be the case on my first project. But inside our office depends. I also have this model right over here, which I will probably be using uh, indoors, but I still haven't decided the one that I will be using there. Now, moving aside and let's get the chit chat. What we have right over here in terms of connections, basically, this is it. And then to make it work is easy as this, just press one button, it will trigger uh, one button. As you can see, the app did trigger as well. I can shut right over here and I can turn here or turn off here and then turn on here and right over here, the same situation. So this is something very useful. And more than this, we can do like we have done in the past with the other Sonoff units, which is basically to program, if that's the case, of course, to program uh, one lamp to turn on at certain time and then turn off at certain time and the other lamp to turn on at this time and turn off at that time this day that day and so on and so forth so we can schedule everything that we want and this is the beauty of things it will simplify my life in terms of passing electricity wires to the new installation that i'll be doing downstairs using the sun off do and also of course having the opportunity to have everything automated on our hands if i want to do this kind of schedule I can. Now guys, this is it. This is just a basic video to explain how I'm doing it so that when the future projects come, which I will not be able to show as well as here, this is really basic, basic for those of you that will ask at that time, hey Robert, how that Sonoff tool works with the physical switch, then I can point out 
to this particular video which will show you how to do it and of course if you have already your projects and you can take advantage of this i will leave some links down below with everything that i'm using right over here hope i don't forget anything but if i do just leave a comment down below and i will answer as best and as fast as i can and guys this is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one